Everybody in there has a different piece of paper in their hand. So there isn't one constitution that, that orchestrates the entire courtroom. Each individual, the paper they're holding in their hand with a file stamp on it is a contract, which is your constitution with that judge. If it's written in adverb verb, the judge is gonna take one glance at it, and all judges in the United States, all 11,000 must take my course to be a judge. So they know syntax. The minute they see an adverb verb lawsuit in front of them, now they're gonna listen like Judge Judy on TV, and it's all entertainment after that. And they're gonna, who's ever, how much justice can you buy today? And the word justice, J-U, equals no law. S equals speak. TI equals title. And CE equals judge. And authorization goes up and in front. So judge title speaks no law. That's why no law or fact should be tried in court. Therefore, everything is bastardized under adverb verb that says nothing. And that's what's happening in your court systems. Your constitution that you say or you think was written on July 4, 1776, is written in adverb verb and says nothing. Because when it says the Constitution of the United States of America, that's an adverb, modifies the verb. Uh, oh, this is a adverb, adjective, pronoun, adverb, adjective, pronoun, adverb, verb. That's what the Constitution of the United States says. Where's my fact? And the word America, A is no, M-E-R is Latin for mercy, and C is Latin for sheep. So it says nothing about nothing, and they harvest sheep for, for fleece. Fleece is your sweat equity. And if you bring up a constitutional argument which expired on November 2nd, 1999, they will laugh you out of court. For 90 days, we had, we counted ballots back then. 